Monday morning about 11 o'clock, June 17th, 20. 24, best pitcher of the year, 1961, Whitey Ford. Second win. He won 1959. All right, let me look it up. My, 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 my mistake. He won 1958. Then he wins 1961. Best pitcher. Four pitching categories he wins. Most wins, 25. Most innings, 283. Game started, 39. And highest winning percentage, 862. Whitey Ford, the best pitcher in the year, 1961. Let's look at the year. He goes 25 and 4. Just four losses. 25 wins. 862 winning percentage. 3.21 ERA. A little high. I like I like I like it when you're in the twos. 39 games started, and he had 11 complete games. You see the trend? 1960s, more relief pitching coming in to help the starter. Before that, pitchers were having a lot of complete games. But now, now in the 50s and 60s, relief pitching is, is very prevail or is prevailing. What do I mean? The starter goes seven, maybe eight, and a relief pitcher comes in and finishes the game for the ninth to get the save. 1961, Whitey Ford, 283 innings, and he has 209 strikeouts. This guy is deserving of the Baseball Hall of Fame. 236 victories and 106 losses. Just 106. I talked about it before with Whitey Ford that he has the number one winning percentage in the history of baseball. 690. 69% of the time when he started the game, he would win it. 236 victories. Too bad he didn't keep going. He stopped at age 38. He could have been, got up to about maybe 300 victories. He pitched another five years. Get about, all he needed was 64 more victories. If he wins 20, maybe three to four, four years, about four years. He pitched four years. He could have got to 300. He would have been 42, I know. But, but uh, I'm, I'm impressed with Whitey Ford. Did you know that he only lost in double digits two times? In his career, two seasons he had double digit losses. 1959, he lost 10 games. And then in 1965, he lost 13. He was 36 years old that year. But all these other years, look at, listen to this six, eight, six losses, eight losses, seven, six, five, seven, nine, four, eight, seven, six, five, and four. Pitched for 16 years. He had two 20-win seasons. He had a 19, he had an 18, he had a two couple 17s, and he had a 16. But he doesn't lose very much, Whitey Ford. Very good pitcher. Deserving of the Baseball Hall of Fame, and I'm giving 1961 to him. He had competition. You know who else was pitching that year? Sandy Colfax. Yet he beat him as far as uh, winning more pitching categories. All right, we're in the 60s. 1962 is next. It's a baseball Hall of Famer, and I'll let you know when we get to that video. I'm out.